Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, setting the record straight about climate. I've always been fascinated by nature. Animals, plants, geology, weather, and climate have always been some of my favorite topics. Recently, I've been largely focused on the phenomenon of climate psychosis. But it's good to step back once in a while from analyzing junk science to discussing some real science. In this video, I'm going to discuss the first optical fibers. According to Wikipedia, the history of optical fibers goes back to the 1840s. John Tyndall was demonstrating the principle behind optical fibers during the 1850s. His name may sound very familiar because he's also the person who first described the greenhouse effect. But optical fibers were invented long before that, billions of years ago, by God. This is a mineral called elexite, which as you can see is made up of little tiny fibers. In this photo, I've placed the piece of elexite on top of a packaging label. And here is what it looks like from the top. You can see that the writing on the packaging label is being transmitted through the little tiny optical fibers in the elexite. The label says made in USA, and note that the in USA is shifted downwards from the made. This is because we're looking at it from an angle, and because of the fact that the elexite is about an inch thick. Elexide was named after George Ulex, a German chemist and politician. God has provided us with all kinds of amazing and interesting things to study. For part of the 1980s, I was a high school science teacher, and if I was Greta's teacher, she wouldn't have gotten to this angry state. She would be learning about the wonders of nature instead of being used as a pawn for junk science. When people allow their children to be exposed to this sort of junk science, it has very serious consequences like high school kids who are on antidepressants because they're so worried about climate change. 2020 is a key election year and we need to throw out any politicians who are abusing our children with climate junk science. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science and propaganda for a long time.